Now to a WUSA 9 exclusive. In about 10 minutes, the Loudoun County School Board will reconvene for their first meeting since a wave of students overdosed both on and off campus. Yeah, in the past few hours, the superintendent there sat down with our Katie Lusso for an exclusive interview. For me, I see it as a great opportunity. In an exclusive sit down interview with WUSA 9, Loudoun County Schools Superintendent Dr. Aaron Spence said he's looking forward to working with the new school board members as they all try to restore trust in the school system. There's kind of a saying that says, you know, trust takes a long time to build, a very short time to break, and then forever to rebuild. I think we're just in that process now. But right now, there's another concern on the table. Since the start of the school year, 10 students have overdosed, but parents weren't notified, according to the governor, for more than 20 20 days. He issued an executive order calling for parents to be notified of school related overdoses within 24 hours. Dr. Spence says they're waiting on guidance from the Virginia Department of Education before making any changes. I feel strongly that we did the best job we could given the parameters that exist for us. There's never been a reporting structure in Loudoun County around whether or not we tell parents that there was a student overdose. What we're learning now is that people want that and so we've got to figure out how do we do that given given some of those privacy concerns. As a parent, would you want to know if another child in your school overdosed? Specifically what I would want to know is we have these issues in our schools. I don't need to know as a parent every time another child has had an overdose. I'm not sure how that helps us. What I think helps us is making sure we're educated as a community to know that these are happening in our schools. He says they've been working with law enforcement and holding community forums, but also want the governor to get involved in another way. I sent a letter to the governor and I've asked him to issue an executive order asking our health department to work with local health departments and providers to come up with treatment options in all of our communities. Has he responded? I have not yet heard back from the governor. I know you've said that you feel like you're doing a good job. You feel like you're getting support from the community. There have been some parents, a school board member who have called for you to resign. What is your reaction? What's your response to that? In today's climate, that's really unfortunate, right? I mean, I've been on the job for less than three months. I think the reason for that is because they're saying, well, you're not being transparent. And again, I understand why people would say, I want to know about what's happening in my child's school when it comes to student overdoses. And I truly believe we were doing the best jobs given the parameter that we had. And if you know better, you do better. Now we spoke for about 30 minutes and covered a lot of topics, including those single use bathroom. There's a pilot program right now that's expected to begin in the next few months. Our full conversation is available for streaming right now on WUSA 9 plus. Leslie Lorenzo. Yeah, I think two things we know here. Parents do want to know what's happening in the schools. Mm -hmm. And as the superintendent said, he's really only been on the job for three months. Yeah. So he's really just getting started. And he has his work cut out for him for sure. He sure does. And again, you can stream Katie's entire exclusive interview with Dr. Aaron Spence for free on WUSA 9 plus. Good job, Katie.